Ah, oh, Miss Plimsoll, how alluring you look. Like a caged cobra. How do I manage to resist you? Uh, Wilfred, would you care to question Mr. Vell's wife? Sorry, I'm in no condition to cope with weeping women. You want a dozen handkerchiefs? No. That will not be necessary. How do you do? I am Christine Vaughan. Madam, I'm Wilfred Robart. This is Mr. Brogan Moore. We have some rather bad news for you, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm quite disciplined. He's been arrested, hasn't he? And charged with murder. I told him he would be. You show extraordinary fortitude. My friend here will take on your husband's defense. Oh. You will not personally defend Leonard. Well, regrettably not. My health, you see. I've heard you described as the champion of the hopeless cause. Perhaps this cause is too hopeless. <laughs> Now, put these on, if you please. Both tops and bottoms. I'll make your bed. I must say, I feel rather sorry for Mr. Vole. That wife of his sounds absolutely horrid. Oh, foreigner. I think English girls are so much more caring and sensible. My mother... Oh, I come from Dorset. My mother used to say that no self-respecting Dorset man would ever dream of marrying a foreigner. Have you ever stayed in Dorset? Oh, I do so love it. Such a happy, happy childhood. Oh, yes. oh, well, my career now takes me to so many places, I have no time to be homesick. No. No, that isn't true. Sometimes I feel just... so lonely, you know. So lonely. Oh, but one must keep busy, one must keep active. I think you'll agree with me there. It's so rewarding, you know, to be in the service of those who need professional care. Do you like fish? All of us must do what we do best in this world. And so I remain content. Sir Wilfred. To the club, Williams. Yes, sir. Forgive my haste, but my nurse might be following on her broomstick. <laughs> 